Why are you so cute? Get it. <laughs> uh, she's the cutest. All right, hello, what is up? Okay, so let me walk you through what I've been doing for the past week. So lately I have been really, really itching to start a new side project. Um, one of my favorite things to do is take one of my ideas and build it and launch it. But it has been a very long time since I've actually done that. So last week I decided I'm actually gonna do it. My initial idea was to do a 48 hour challenge. So take my idea, uh, design it, build it, and launch it in 48 hours. It is now six days later, uh, so that did not happen. But I did complete this whole project within a week. I'm on the final stretch right now. I just have a few more things to add and a few more things to like polish it up and then I'm good to go and I'm ready to launch. So by the time you see this, it should be up and live. All right, before we get into it, let me tell you about uh, my idea. So I've had this idea for a very, very long time, probably a couple years now. I just have never gotten around to doing it. But my idea was to build a color palette inspiration site that showed you how to implement those colors. So I realized a while ago that all color palette sites are basically the same. It's usually just a site that lists out four to six colors that look good together and work well. And that's kind of about, about it. It just like lists out those color palettes and uh, there's nothing more to it. I even built a color palette site back in the day called LOL Colors and even that one was the same. But something I've struggled with before and I've heard countless times that other people have said the same thing, they don't know how to take those colors and apply that to their designs or illustrations. So that is the problem that I uh, attempted to solve with this project. I wanted to build a site that not only gave you color inspiration, but also you could see uh, what colors were being used on a real site. So then that way you would know like what colors you could apply to your background, what colors you would use for text, what color you would use for your illustrations, and then just like show you in different sections throughout the page, like how all that could um, go together. Because when you think about it, a website rarely only uses like four or five colors. Yes, they have like four or five main colors, but when you think about it, you have like your heading colors, your paragraph colors, you have your background colors, there's probably a background color for different sections, and then you maybe have cards or callouts that have different backgrounds and different text on top of that. Um, and then your illustrations um, possibly have a stroke color and a main color and a highlight color, and there's like lots of different variables that work together that go way beyond a normal four to six color um, color palette. Okay, so I started working on this project on Monday, and it was by Wednesday that I had a very, very, very rough proof of concept working, um, designed and built in Webflow. All right, so uh, bear with me, because um, this looks pretty awful right now, but I got it somewhat working. All right, so I set up a simple Webflow CMS. Let me show you how I got it. Basically, it's just a bunch of colors, uh, color options that I can pick, and then all those colors will be applied to this design. The design looks terrible, but the cool thing is like I can go from this to something like this um, and it updates all the colors based on what I set in the CMS. So it's still super, super rough, but like this is really, really cool. Like it's uh, kind of working. So what I did for the images, they're just SVGs. Um, and then I added a field for the background color and primary color. And then it's pulling in the fill from the CMS uh, using these tags. But yeah, everything's coming together. Like the, the, this proof of concept prototype, it works. Uh, it's, it looks really bad. <laughs> um, I need to clean it up. I need to add the sidebar so you can like uh, filter and go through different color palettes. But yeah, this is, uh, this is exciting. I, I'm really loving this. All right, what up, good morning. Uh, it's the next day now. So this whole 48 hour project thing, that's not happening anymore. Um, I wildly underestimated the amount of time it would take. So I struggled a bit with the design side of things, um, figuring out like what 
content I want on the page and how I want to lay that out. But also I struggled with the illustrations. I was originally planning on doing these cool, funky illustrations in my more cartoony style, but I ran into a little issue with uh, Webflow. So I have to use a custom code block for the SVG illustrations uh, so that I can update the colors depending on what uh, CMS collection you're on. But the issue was that the custom code block will only let you use code that's less than 10,000 characters, which obviously means the more complex my illustration was, the more characters it made because of all the little points and stuff. So I had to dramatically simplify the illustration that I was gonna make. I did end up finding a more simple style that I think will work pretty well. Let me show you. Okay, so uh, this is the illustration up here I came up with. You can see if I click on this other palette, all the colors on it change. And then if I go into the code, all the fills and the strokes are set to pull in from the CMS, which is pretty dope because I can change the colors to whatever I want. So I think what I struggled with the most throughout this whole project was the design. I think it was two parts. One is that like, I feel like out of practice, honestly, like doing these side projects. So it's, it was like a little bit of a grind to like get back into things, but also it was a struggle just to like um, figure out like how everything should look, how to design it in a way that would work for different color palettes, how to design it in a way that the illustrations would work. Um, also like what illustration style I should use. That was a big thing because my original style I was planning, I had to like, reduce because of the Webflow limitation. But in retrospect, it was mostly because I didn't really plan out the content. I didn't know what like, what the example um, site should be, what it, what it should say. I did end up figuring that out, but it wasn't until about late Friday evening, I think about 10 p.m. on Friday, uh, that I finished up the design. All right, so I finally uh, finished up the design, kind of. Um, it's like almost there, like 90, 95%. Uh, still got a bit to do um, to clean up and I'll do that once I start building it um, in Webflow. Uh, overall, I'm like really happy with how it's turning out. I think the design um, overall is uh, really cute and clean and simple. It gives off a fun, happy vibe which is great because I decided to call this Happy Hues. Um, not sure if I mentioned this before, but I was originally planning on calling it UI Colors, but when I went to buy the domain name, I realized there was already a UI Colors that existed. Uh, when I checked last week, I could have sworn I didn't see any, but maybe I just missed it. Anyway, uh, Happy Hues is a better name, I think, anyway. So let me walk you through what I ended up uh, creating. So up top, there's gonna be the header with the um, Happy Hues logo, as well as two toggles. It's gonna to, um, have a toggle to hide and show the sidebar, as well as hide and show these little section hue uh, blocks. That way, if you want to just look at this design in all its glory without any of the distractions, uh, you can hide the sidebar and the section colors. Up top, I got the hero curated color palettes in action and then this cute little illustration. All right, so below that, I decided uh, the content itself of this site should teach. Uh, so I decided to try to teach some of the terminology and psychology of colors. So this section right here is the uh, color terminology. Uh, it's gonna talk about the hue, tint, shade, tone, value, and saturation. Um, nothing like super, super in depth, but it does give a little overview and I created these cute little icons uh, to go with uh, each of those uh, blocks. And then of course it shows the section colors as well. Uh, below that, I go into the psychology of colors. Each block will talk about uh, one of the uh, primary or secondary colors. It will give a little description, overview of that color and uh, talk about like words that are associated with it. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm thinking of doing this horizontal uh, sideways scroll uh, layout. I'm not 100% sure if I'll end up doing this. I'm gonna see how the UX feels once I get in there. Um, if it does, I'll probably end up tweaking the um, layout. And then below that, I did a little who's behind uh, happy hues and a little 
bio section for myself with a uh, call to action to sign up if you wanna follow along for what I'm building next. So uh, overall, I'm really happy with uh, this design. I think it strikes a good balance of having enough like real content to act as a real example. Um, but also have a cute, fun vibe while still being simple enough to work for different uh, color schemes. Because again, that's the entire point of this entire project. Honestly, I'm really, really stoked about this project. I think I'm the most proud of the work I've done on this than any of my projects I've done in a, in a while. I think it could be a really, really cool site. Anyways, I'm gonna get to building it. Okay, enough of that. So that brings us to today. It is uh, Sunday evening right now. So I've been working on this project for six days now. So from idea to design to building it, six days, not too bad. Well, if you count the year or two that this idea has been in my head, then it's actually much longer. But um, idea to execution, six days. So it's still not 100% done. I would say it's about 98, 99. I need to update some copy. I need to add more color palettes and a few other tweaks, but all that should be done by the time you see this video. But yeah, this is what I am launching with. So if I refresh it, everything animates in, which is really cool. Uh, I got the terminology section, the psychology section. I ended up tweaking this one um, to be a vertical layout instead of horizontal. Um, I tweaked the about me section as well added in some recent projects and then a footer and such. Um, but obviously the entire point of the site is to update the colors. So if you click on a color palette, everything updates. So the backgrounds update, the um, illustrations, the stroke, the fills of the illustrations, um, the text colors, uh, the section colors. There's a few different sections with different colors in it um, and it all updates depending on what palette you have selected. So this dark color palette, for example, look how dope this looks. Everything updates. The illustration looks cool. Uh, the icons look great. So yeah, there's still more work to be done, but not gonna lie, this has been a really fun challenge. So yeah, the, this project is done. So by the time you see this, it will be live. You can go check it out at happyhues.co. I'll put a link in the description uh, below as well so you can go click on that and check the site out. I'm really, really proud of what I've done with this project. I think it's really cool. I would love to hear your thoughts on this as well. So if you have any, leave me a comment below. But yeah, I think that is all for this video. Um, if you liked it, uh, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And by that, I mean I actually will see you very soon because I'm planning to do more videos on a frequent basis. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.